Hello scientists, in this video you will learn what matter is, its properties, and how scientists classify it. And also welcome to our unit on chemistry. Chemistry looks at the ways that matter changes and transforms to create everything in the universe. So, what is matter? Well, you may have heard that atoms are the building blocks of matter. Well, atoms are what make up all matter. This is the periodic table of elements. Each box represents one type of element. Elements are like the alphabet of the universe. Just like in our alphabet, we have 26 letters and we can make up all of the words in our language. The periodic table contains a little over 100 known elements that scientists have discovered and organized in this table. Everything in the universe is made up of one, or a combination of more than one, of these elements. Well, let's get started with what we need to know for lesson number one. What is matter? Well, we just said matter is everything in the universe. Some things in the universe exist because they were here. They are naturally occurring, such as flowers and trees and water and your dog and you, those are all naturally occurring things. Other things humans have made. So if you think of everything around us, all of the things that we use, or let's think about our car. Think about all the different materials that make up our car. Those are all man-made. What matter is not are things that we cannot measure, such as feelings or forces or forms of energy. So how do we really know if something is matter? Well, matter is anything that has mass and volume. Mass is the amount of matter in an object or substance. We can determine the amount by putting it on a scale and finding its mass. Volume is the amount of space an object or a substance takes up. If it's a regular object like this box, we could use a ruler find the measurements of its side, and calculate its volume. But some things are harder to determine if they're matter, and could we really find their mass and volume? Take, for instance, air. We know that it exists because we breathe it, and we know it exists because we can see the wind blowing the leaves on a tree. We also know that it can take up space because if we blow up a balloon, the balloon is bigger than what it was before, so what's taking up the space inside the balloon? The air. If you're listening to this video, draw a star in the balloon. Matter can exist in three states of matter, a solid, a liquid, or a gas. What determines if something is a solid, a liquid, or a gas is the amount of thermal energy that the substance has. Matter can also be classified into two different types of matter. Some matter is pure, a pure substance. This is matter that is either an element on the periodic table, such as gold, or maybe a compound that's made up of one or more elements from the periodic table in a molecule form. So for instance, H2O, this is a molecule of water. It is a pure substance. Most everything, though, that we interact with on a daily basis is a mixture. There are two types of mixtures. You have heterogeneous mixtures, like your pizza, for instance. It's made of the crust and the cheese and the pepperoni and whatever other things that you like to put on it. And a heterogeneous mixture can easily be separated. A homogeneous mixture is something that is the same throughout. So let's take your Starbucks drink. Let's say maybe when you first get it, it looks like it's got layers and lots of things in it, but eventually it kind of stirs all together and it becomes one homogeneous mixture. Properties of matter. All matter has two different kinds of properties, physical properties and chemical properties. Physical properties are those that you can observe with your senses and they can be measured without changing the identity of the substance. So for instance, you can observe the color of the Lego as being red. You don't have to do anything to it to figure out what the color is. You can just use your eyes. 
On the other hand, the chemical properties show the potential of matter to change, but you can only see that by changing the substance. So for instance, wood has the ability to burn, but you only see this chemical property when the wood is on the fire and it is actually burning. Now, what I would like for you to do is review your notes and then write the answers to the lesson questions. There are six lesson questions. If you need to, go back and rewatch parts of the video if necessary. This is the end of the video, so I hope you learned a little bit more about what matter is, its properties, and how scientists classify it.